600 years after the birth of Jesus, the Almighty Creator entrusted the universe with whom he placed in the womb of Fatima, the daughter of Asad and wife of Abu Talib, the uncle of Prophet Muhammad. Fatima approached the Holy Kaaba to pray to God. Just then, the wall of the Kaaba cracked open and she stepped in. After a few days, the long wait came to an end. Yes, he was born, the holder of the great secret, the noble begotten baby. He was raised by Prophet Muhammad and was the first person to embrace Islam at the age of 10. His character and qualities differentiated him from people of all time. In the darkness of the night, he would carry sacks of food on his back to the houses of orphans and the poor. He loved people and took it upon himself to be of service to them. On the battlefield, he was matchless. His name was enough to make the strongest warriors of his age shudder. In the Battle of Khaybar, he lifted the gate of the fort in one strong jolt. The gate was so heavy that it would take 50 powerful men to lift it. This perfect man raised by Prophet Muhammad was called Ali, the Prophet's cousin. Prophet Muhammad had said, if a person wants to gain Adam's knowledge, Noah's wisdom, Abraham's friendship with God, Moses' fervent prayers, Jesus' prayers and asceticism, Job's sufferings and patience, he should look at Ali. Ali is to me as Aaron was to Moses except that there shall be no prophet after me. In his last pilgrimage to Mecca, Prophet Muhammad appointed Ali as his successor. Ali is an everlasting role model for all ages, because he is not specific to a particular nation or religion. He belongs to all of humanity.